Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of our DB Daily's vlogs. I'm down here today with Graham and his stunning 6N Polo. It's not your everyday run the mill polo. Definitely not. <laughs> we're down to Kilkey House and we're going to have a chat about this car and get a few sexy shots around the beautiful grounds that we have. Hey, so I'm down here with uh, Graham today and you're probably wondering why I have a breaker bar so people were getting on to us about sound quality so we have a microphone so hopefully we can hear each other yeah. speak today <laughs> <laughs> so Graham we're down here with your 6N Polo right absolutely immaculate all Thank right you. inside and out I'm sure we'll get the shots now in a minute um, as far as any story goes I was there's a beginning I suppose isn't it yeah, yeah. so how long have you had the car or what kind of when did the process start so I there's a bit of a long story with this car I bought this car when I was 17 years old okay, so yeah. it was my very first car a, a 90 year old lady from a tie you used to own it one um, lady owner one honestly <laughs> one lady owner never abused yeah. um, until now but uh she owned it and she couldn't drive it anymore so it was parked up it was sitting for about two years and then I was turned 17 I got my license and I found it yeah so paid a couple of hundred quid for it put an engine into it yeah did a few little bits with it and then decided right I'm gonna daily drive it yeah so yeah. I daily drove this car for about two two and a half years up and down to Dublin all over the country I went to Cork I went everywhere yeah, yeah. and uh it was not like this, not obviously. Like, not like this. No, <laughs> yeah. no. It was at one stage it was bog standard. Then it went a little bit agricultural. I had a CV aerial on it, tinted windows, yeah. fake RS six wheels, really stupid stuff. Okay, on so it. we'll get our picture up here someplace. Yeah, <laughs> I may find one. <laughs> but, but it is. Look, it's as far as the car scene in Ireland goes. There is different scenes. Yeah. All right. And yeah. this is kind of our OEM plus that we talked about before. But there's an agri spec scene. Yeah. There's drift scenes. There's slab scenes. There's all different types of scenes yeah. in Ireland. So it just happened that you came from an agri scene. Yeah. To this to, clean to scene. This. scene isn't exactly. It? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I I decided then I was going to sell it. I had no space for it anymore. I upgraded to a different car for yeah. for my daily commute. So I said, right, this is gone. So it got sold. It was gone for about two and a half years. Yeah. I got a text one day randomly off this fella that just said, look, I have your your old car. It's going to the scrap. If you wanted, you may come pick it up now. Jeez. So <laughs> yeah, at that, yeah. I jumped at the chance, went over, picked it up, and yeah, th this is it now. You have it back in this condition it's, now. It's back it? in the condition that I wanted in. Yeah. So I'm happy enough with it. But so it is actually quite a cool story, and I think yeah. this is something that people kind of forget about. People are learning to buy cars, sell cars, and there's never a story kind yeah. of behind it, and that's kind of lost, I think, on some things. Well, Moments later. So, Graham, look at it. it is cool, kind of. A lot of people in Ireland, I suppose, they buy cars and they sell cars and then they forget about them. Yeah. And it is cool that your car has that story and the history behind it. And it's something that's lost in Ireland because in America, it's a massive thing that people yeah. have these big, long life stories, isn't it? Like, yeah, that's it, exactly. Like, yeah, yeah, you wouldn't, like, with the likes of the other cars that I've had like they've just been there and they're sold and that's yeah, it I yeah. kind of forget about them but with this one it just kind of stuck with me for the six or seven years yes yeah and even when it was gone I was always kind of thinking where's gone like I, I kind of want to build something yes. and when it came back I was like right okay it's, yeah. it's time to go all out and it's strange because in Ireland as well I know in America and Ireland it's, the rules are very different I suppose mm -hmm. and the likes of the Polo and the Scirocco and cars they didn't actually make it to America either like, no, so no. even though in Ireland we might see Polos on the road like that they're actually a rare thing in other countries oh they like, are indeed yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so if we look at the likes of America there's a couple of guys over there that are specifically importing these now yeah. the likes of Scirocco's and some of the VR6's and 16 valves that they wouldn't have got over there yes of course so yeah. these are actually getting very popular over there at yeah, the moment yeah 100% so, okay, so we learned where the story came yeah. from and we kind of went through a dark phase of the agriculture <laughs> aspect, right? <laughs> we'll say that. But say, as far as when you got the car back then, Graham, right? As far as mods go, we see there's a million mods done here, yeah. right? The car is smashing, right? But what were your main mods then or your favourite mods then that you've done to the car since you got it back to get it to where it is today? So I have to say the wheels. So the wheels would be the first thing. Oh, I have yeah. BBS RM two piece splits. Yeah. Um, with the green BBS center caps just to tie it all in. Yeah. Uh, after that, then it has to be the interior. Yeah. Um, so I know we'll get some shots there now in a second, guys. <laughs> right? Wow. <laughs> it's, unbelievable. <laughs> it's unbelievable. So uh, the interior is the front two seats are out of a Mark three anniversary Golf. Yep. They've been customly stitched in Bentley walnut brown. No. Um, along with the dashboard. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
the roof liner A, B and C pillars have all been coated in suave along with the parcel shelf. So yeah. there's there's a lot of work gone into the interior uh, alone. 100% and it's it's evident to see. It's not yeah. like one of these things that you'd say, oh, I, do, I spent a lot of time doing this now and it's something you might never see. Yeah. That is absolutely the eye catcher of the car, isn't That's it? Like, it's it. fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And even the seats, guys, right, they're, they're embossed as well. Like So, you know, there's subtle little things in the car that, you know, did your eye just catches and it's fantastic, yeah, like, isn't it? Yeah, you know? exactly. Uh, when it came to the likes in the, the interior, it, it, especially, I was kind of looking for something that was going to be different. So I yeah. wanted something, it's not to everyone's taste, and I understand that completely, but it's yeah. to mine. But on top of that as well, I just wanted something like if, if someone was walking by the car, if it was sitting in a show, they'd, they'd kind of go back and be like, well, hold on now, that's yeah, that's yeah. not the way it used to be. That's not standard. A hundred percent. That's what I was kind of... And we've done this thing, people have messaged the DVD aliens guys and they're like, what do I have to do to my car to go to your show? Guys, like like what Graham has said here, that's his taste, you know what yeah. I mean? And that's what every person's car should be like, an expression of yourself yeah. like in your car, isn't it really? Like, that's it, exactly. Like, yeah, yeah. 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 It is, it's, it's fucking absolutely fantastic. Shouldn't be swearing on camera. <laughs> <laughs> but say, okay, we have wheels here, right? Which, like you said, are eye catcher as well. And the green matches in. It's fantastic. We have the interior. If you were to pick one more thing, say that it would be our favourite that you've done so far. It'd have to be a, one of the most subtle things that I've picked. So it'd have to be the likes of the Wolfsburg Blanks. Yeah. So uh, they only came in that shape on the American market. They're really, really hard to get. But yeah. I managed to scoop a set up off a guy from the north. Yeah. So I'd have to say just by sheer chance finding them even was was great yeah it so is. i'd have to say that that would be my, my we, third yeah we were chatting to ian my doppelganger i suppose about his <laughs> caddy as well but about the car community in ireland that like if you were looking for someone or something for your car there's someone out there who will have yeah. it and talk to people and get in contact yeah. with people and like that if you have a 6 m polo and you want to try and match something like this <laughs> get in contact with graham yeah. you know what i yeah. mean like it's there it's open yeah. to go to like you know so graham we were talking about shows right and yes. shows that you've gone to and I know it's both nationally and internationally at this stage yes. you know? <laughs> so as far as shows would go or like what shows have you gone to and how did you find them or kind of what would you recommend yeah. viewers to go to so I've gone to I've gone to many a show since 2019 of course with the COVID pandemic and all that kind of stuff it, it put a halt to a lot of yeah, that but sure at, did, yeah. even at the end the last or the end of this year we'll say there's been just an influx of so many different shows every single weekend there's been something on yeah um, with this car I've been I've been to Scotland I've been to Edinburgh over to Clean Fest how bad um, <laughs> I was absolutely chuffed that I got accepted into the main arena with it yeah um, I've been to Titanic Dubs unbelievable show yeah like, even the location show. isn't it it's done it absolutely fantastic yeah, like, yeah. yeah anywhere you look it's just uh, anywhere you get parked yeah it's, it's absolutely eye catching yeah. it's brilliant so for anyone that doesn't know right Titanic Dubs is literally the dry dock that the Titanic was built yes. in it's in, like, there's a big hall where yeah. the ship was <laughs> in the middle. And it's just, it's mind-blowing. Like, yeah. and even to be able to go to an event like that, it's not the fact that you're going to a car show, but you get to see the dry docks yeah, included, it, exactly. isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There's so much to, to be seen, even if you're not going to see the cars. Yes. Or even yeah. if you're halfway through the day and you're like, God, I want to see something different. You can go and you can look at the history of the Titanic. It's brilliant. It's yeah. unreal. Um, on top of that as well, obviously, I've been to, like, see your shows. Yeah. TV on the key. Don't I've you, been... TV Daily's guys? <laughs> <laughs> um, I was at DB and Key. I, I unfortunately didn't get a chance to bring it to Johnstown Castle, but hey, look, if it's, it's cool. on again, yeah, yeah. it'll be going. Yeah, yeah, I'm um, sure it will be on. Yeah, <laughs> old school, new school. I like to shout, shout out the lads from old school, new yeah. school as well. Nile so. Garrity and the lads are fantastic. Lads. Yeah. Brilliant, yeah, absolutely. Running the same as the GTI and I lads when they host Dubshed. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, it's, it's kind of been all over the country realistically now. Yeah. Uh, it still has to venture over the west side, but we'll, we might get there. <laughs> <We> might <laughs> yes, get there. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and But like that, it's driving in Ireland on Irish roads with such a nice car as well yeah. you're kind of trying to pick your shows as you that's go that's it, it yeah you're, you're more picking your roads than your shows yeah but. that's <laughs> it, isn't it so as far we were talking about different clubs and stuff guys alright and uh, we were talking about old school new school and we are talking about the GTI and I guys and the DVD ladies guys Graham is a member of or is starting up his club as well. Yeah, so we are called Reserved. We're yeah. we're all based off automotive apparel. We're looking at doing a lot of um, feature cars and a lot of show reviews and stuff like that. Hundred percent. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're we're a little bit small at the moment, but like we're we're gradually getting there. Guys, we're gradually DB Daily started yeah. in 2015. You know yeah. what I mean? And now it's 21, nearly 22 now. So yeah. It, yeah. it takes time. It does take time. It, yeah, exactly. Now, we've seen some of the guys' photographs, right? That they've gone to shows and he's having what marked with the reserves yes. on it. and it's actually a cool logo as well it's <laughs> even better and it is it's great to see people going to shows and getting fantastic shots of cars yeah. of shows like you know what I mean yeah. and 
for myself going to shows as well, it's a credit for the likes of you guys going to the shows and getting the pictures. Because when you go to a car show, you're busy getting your car ready and then you're going off and maybe getting a bit to eat or whatever. Yeah. And when people like you are going around, you're taking that still life of that car in history, like you know what I mean? And you yeah. can look back on it and see the the picture of your car and go, geez, that show was great and it, it you yeah, know, and you're taking it. great photographs, which is even yeah, better. So <laughs> you can cover up the imperfections. Yeah. The <laughs> I've had to do it in my own car, so I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So then we're going to talk about two future hits then, right? So as far as the reserved goes, where do you see the club going down the line? Uh we're tr- we'll we're, we're a little bit iffy on that so we're yeah. looking at hopefully being somewhere similar or doing the same kind of stuff as the likes of the I Love Bass guys yes so yeah. that's the kind of way we're looking at going yeah. we're looking at just mainly features apparel hopefully at some stage we might get a chance to run our own show 100%. but that's, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. down the pipeline at some stage yeah but um, yeah that's kind of where we're looking at with, with regards to the reserve fantastic anyway. yeah. yeah so everyone Get looking the reserved, right? Get on now, go on the train now. It's like the stock yeah. market, isn't it? <laughs> Basically, get, yeah. buy in now and then you can sell high. <laughs> so, do hit them up, guys, all right? And we'll get the, their link down in the description yeah. there for the club and stuff as well, guys, right? To boost the clubs. And Thank I'm you. sure down the line, we'll get another one just on the club and yeah. how it's going yeah. and catch up with you again on it. Great. So, as far as this beauty goes, where's the future lie in this beauty now, then? Well, this car is going to go through a lot of changes this, this year. So, um, you look at it, you think it's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> and then we said this, there's a lot of changes coming. <laughs> yeah, there's still stuff to be done with it. So, yeah. um, it's going off the road now, this weekend. It's it's going off to get a lot of work done with it. Yeah. We're looking at putting an engine conversion into it. Oh, my um, gosh. <laughs> hopefully pushing around the 170 horsepower mark. Wow. Small car, a lot of horsepower. Small car, a lot of horsepower. Yeah. So, we're looking at 170 and 900 kilos, yeah. which is nothing. Um, hopefully, I'll get a chance to get my wheels refurbed i want to get a full um polished finish on them fantastic and on top of that button up a few little bits on the interior but that's what i'm looking at for the moment as with the future it's really hard to know yeah it's it depends what kind of comes up With, with regards to old cars like this it all depends on what parts come up if there's niche parts that come up or if there's hard to get parts to yes come up. of course yeah you yeah. just jump at the opportunity when they do yeah, so yeah. as regards to external bits or bits that you see when the car is sitting i'm not too sure yes yeah of yeah. course and it's the same look ireland is a very small country like and like someone could have imported something years ago yeah. and it just happens to come up in the market or you know what i mean you go to a show and you see a guy and he has something and if it's there you're going to pick it up That's like you know it. you're not going exactly. to let it go you know yeah but Look at that, it is absolutely fantastic and it's great that it has a, a kind of an idea of where you're wanting to go yeah, in the future as well, yeah. isn't it? Like, yeah. we're never done, are we? Never done. Car, it's, car it's, guys are never done. It's an endless rabbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Yeah. yeah, there's always something to come up yeah. with. So. so, Graham, for me, right, I'm going to say is that we're going to, I'm going to go around and take some sexy shots so everyone else can see the, d- the finer great. details, all right? <laughs> I have nothing else to ask you. Is there anything <laughs> you'd like to add to the vlog? No, I'm happy enough. Thank yeah, happy enough. Much. Yes, great. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> okay, guys, from me here anyway, I'd like to say thanks very much. And Graham, likewise, thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Okay guys, so like we said, for me, I'd like to say thanks very much for watching and I'd like to say thanks very much for Graham for bringing thank this you. beauty down here, right? Thanks for having uh, me. For everyone there, get a hold of the reserve guys, right? The link will be down in the description there to get a hold of them, right? If you have a 6 cent polo and you want to ask questions, get a hold of Graham. His 100%, tag yeah. will be down underneath you <laughs> there somewhere, right? And uh, the same guys, I'd like to say thanks very much for watching as far as the DB Dailies goes. If you want to get a hold of us, Instagram and Facebook, don't be f- afraid to get a hold of us on dbdailies.com where you can get a hold of hats, hoodies, t-shirts, stickers, lanyards, snoods, sun strips, you name it, we have it there, right? Get down in the video, like, share, comment, subscribe, and if you think you have a video or a car that wants to be in a video, be sure to get a hold of us and we can hook you up as well. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.